LTW showing up there at the end, kind of being able to get his other heroes out of dodge, and they're smoking right back out. TA doesn't have Aegis anymore. Really big kill thinking it. Oh, what was that force staff? He Double tried to burrow. go for a Cog's pushback, but it looks like maybe an offensive force staff. BCM, as a result, is still free to be able to go in. He finished off mind control. He is going to be caught in this tornado with the cold snap in the air, and he's just going to get burnt down too quickly. But Yuragi is still going strong here. Nails Miracle with Amar showing up as well and completely negating the damage of ILTW. ILTW is left it's alone. The, the man, man on the island standing, and he may have a lot of tank, but he doesn't have any damage, and eventually he's going to get burned down by the four man of OG. There's is Ice Dash going back. up? Maybe? Okay. Rampage for Yuragi, but ILTW gets the triple kill in return. Kuro on the retreat, but Yuragi as a spirit form is going to be able to catch him with missiles, and he's still got a swap too. Or no, not a swap, but it doesn't matter. A double Rampage for Yuragi. Like early on, the, uh, the slipperiness of OG's heroes, if they want to, Oh, the smoke instantly breaking. Amar Mars body these heroes. They do manage to get the stun onto Snaking. This is a really good start for them. They kill that fine position right away, and it's for free. BZM now looking for an opening. Grab Skeeter. He's going to be forced to use his BKB early here and fight back without the IO. And now they've got the oh, black hole nice. on top of him, and he's just dead. BKB immediately activated by Yuragi, but dying, he has nothing. He has no damage behind him, and his BKB is eventually going to wear thin. OG, they seem to have Huntress number and are completely countering their place in this series. 33 might just be dead as well as he gets tossed back in by the spear. Yuragi's on top of him. No chance to pop the Ghost Shroud. Ultra kill for Yuragi off of a one by one by one by one kill fest. Not just necessarily death falling. Like, oh, look at this. They want Amar. Miracle jumping in. They've already got the BKB. It's just going to try to teleport out. I don't know if they have quite enough damage. That was a, that felt like an OG play for a moment here as Yuragi. Silence, getting dragged back. Taiga, they're getting into position. Nice ice path coming through as they blow up Miracle. And now they'll turn their attention over to the Monkey King, but he's already been teleported out. Mind control, hanging out by the tower. And they just wait in the area over on the side of OG. Mind control, again, still trying to be in this position for the IO. Get that X off. The tether is nice, but it's not going to be enough to save poor GH. That was a really oh. nice bait. Oh, they see mind control, though. Gonna try to put the damage over onto Misha. Kuro with the Boundless, though. Should be able to find the kill on Jakiro, but I don't know how much they'll be able to follow up with the Torn coming in. Landing again. Mind control. Kuro will fall. Triple kill now for Yuragi. As LTW, he used that Eclipse, but he just can't seem to get his hands on anyone here. Dragging right back into the Torn. Lots of damage. This is a dead Luna. It's an ultra kill now for Weaver. Got the Terrorize, they've got the Egg, they've got big team fight combo here. The Bramble's gonna go out, catching two already. The Shards looking to block in some heroes. Crystal's gonna back away. Rocky jumps forward though, goes for Resolution. Does have the BK, he puts ground. it out on the Egg. High ground Egg as well. Secret not able to deal with it at all. And they're stuck inside the arena as well. Amar soaking up the damage. A what beautiful a Terrorize combo up, but a snowball save. He picks up everybody, does Sonic Wave on five. BZM comes through to wipe Team Secret out of this one. Resolution's gonna be chased down. Nisha's caught by Yuragi as well. Inside of the Brambles, one by one, they will get chased down. OG losing nothing for that team fight. A lot of work with his movements. Like, he got that kill on top lane, secured two runes. Yeah, once again. Ooh. Chain's actually landing onto him there for a second. Ma, meanwhile, taking some of Marty's damage here. BZM's turning around onto Foxy here once again, trying with the aggressive plays, and he gets a kill for a second time, but Mickey has moved over, and this may be the end of BZM. That's it, BZM has the chains. He's trying to play around here, but he's only got two trees, but look at the jukes coming out. Oh my goodness, Mickey. he completely destroys Mickey with these jukes. BZM now getting healed up by Misha, who comes across. Mickey, he wants this kill so badly, but I don't think he's going to get it anymore. If OG just jumps him, I think the fight's really hard, but 
if they can have this deuce to go ham Low with breaks. It. Arena, oh, he managed to catch swap. Miracle, but misses all his spells to swap back on ILTW, but gaze. he does manage to get off the Stone Gaze. The Epicenter coming in. Only hit really hitting the Ogre is not the greatest, but they Double will be able to arena. deal with the first life of... Oh, nice spear back. Double Arena is too much to handle. The first one didn't do that much, but the second one was devastating from Amar, and will pretty much clean up as Nigma. They're going to have a second round to this fight, a second breath perhaps, as they Triple all buy that. back. BZM slowed down by the Scotty. God, they need this kill. They need it so badly. It looks like Spear catching it. Oh no, Miracle gets blown up before BZM dies. Die he does, but he ends it on an ultra kill. Okay, I'm a Mark Harry player. Here we go, though. He's young in that second exo. And it feels like Hellraiser. I mean, you're starting to bring the forces. It's on Maybe DM, they can aim down DM, but I mean, he does have the wood, so the chain control has to be perfect to make sure there's no opportunity to get that defensive item off. And DM can now turn it back around. GPK's in a little bit of trouble off the back of the Fiend's group. DM's gonna try and do what he can to disrupt this. It might not be enough, though. The damage is lacking, oh! and GPK gets the health back. Now they turn on the Conquer. Yamich is showing up for the team fight as well. Limitless, he's gonna join his two fellow brothers in the grave. As Virtus Pro, they're not done just yet. They're gonna turn their attention to Gilgir as well. The old chats are out from GPK. X he's <laughs> fueling himself this game. DM gets a triple and <laughs> item that you want to buy so you might pick it up from Roche even though in this game I think Luna gets the priority if Virtus Pro kills the Roshan. Yeah as you can see Laguna Blade applied here onto DM he's very tanky but this looks like it might be enough damage he pops that hood now into the trees he goes has the oh, casual plate down as well doing a nice job of Duki into the timber chain across the other side of the lane and he will live as a result and they might be able to turn this around now VP save with another hex Thunderbolt to follow and the Earth Spike will help finish off that pesky Nyx Assassin, and somehow DM survives. The, the sniper. Yeah. Shrapnel's so good for that. Buildings hidden by creeps. The bottom tier four towers as GPK, dude, just blows them up again. Oh, man. And now Slayer. I mean, he's also going to be in trouble here, potentially. They walk forward, get the stun off. LSA and gonna get the kill. Monkey King dead. Mars dead. Slayer popping the exorcism, but there is nothing left. No salvation, no hope, no dream. As mind games are gonna lose absolutely everybody one by one by one. Oh, it feels bad. Man, it really does. It's uh it's too much at this point. Their game plan not able to be achieved. Into Get a good egg for this fight. Egg's still on cooldown for 15 seconds. So if the fight breaks out now, Tiger might get a free black hole. No, oh, no. Jumps in and finds it. And it is going to be a free black hole. The Cataclysm down. Connects onto both. They did not have the answer. Tiger getting tipped by Seb. Appreciating some greatness. What yeah. a sick play. I mean, tyga has been playing this entire series so well. Yeah, he's he's been doing a good job on the Enigma. You can definitely see this guy plays this hero a lot. Uh, he has been quiet in this game in terms of using the black hole, but it wasn't even, even necessary until now. So, uh, you know, this hero only needs one, and he does have a refresher now. Smoked up behind, ready to go for round two. EG want to take them all down. Mar backs out, but they're moving in. They have the refreshed black hole available. The if they Enigma. can get there in time, get together and catch them all. Tommy does it to him one more time again. Another tip, another win. OG, they're looking stellar. Wow, what a black hole. <laughs> they did not I mean, the expect thing about that. it that's so interesting, right, is that it's like there's all these spells that can just destroy a hero, and it feels like they're playing so well around each other, and now they find one. He just goes in like a madman. Oh! The oh RP my god, that's three. Are you kidding me? Everything dropped down on his face for the black, black hole. hole. Turn it all around. Tyga tries to make it happen. Is it going to be enough damage? Second one. A second round, round two. But the boat's coming in afterwards. It's not going to be enough. Tyga the god. Oh my. They didn't have the damage. They didn't have the damage on top of the RP, but now the buybacks. There's no there's no holes. Round two pushes him up on the cliff, but he's going to get brought down immediately after Yuragi just destroys Toronto Tokyo. Oh my goodness. Did didn't stand a chance. Amar up on the high ground getting punched away over to the side. Poshka goes down. Ultra kill for Yuragi. One by one by one, they end up dropping. Team Spirit. They lost their mid yet again. BZM running. This is the global threat OG wants to play with. They want to use the four spirits on the invoker. Goes pushing bottom. Show heroes on different parts of the map with Fnatic and set up with the sun strikes. Yeah, look Tiger at this. Tiger's just Don't going for it with the sun strike and they got the kill. What a monster. Tiger with that killer instinct did not let that one go. He said it's ready to punish any over-aggression right now.
Yeah, that's pretty terrifying. That... I mean, OG's back in. Gotta watch for Thug's moves here. If, if, if he comes in, will OG be prepared? I mean, does he want to come in back in for the red Funnick? Oh, no, it's an illusion! Oh! It's an illusion here wrought by Funnick to start things off. That's not what cool guys needed. And that was the buyback of Thug as well. Now, that hurts. Why open at any moment? They're trying to find this opening here on the side of OGBZM. Will get revealed, does throw out the shackles. Goes in through again, has a BKB. The scattered blast though coming out from Tiger. Cookie out forward, that'll be no boxy to help Matu out in this fight. So they're gonna try to fight through. Rolling Thunder again, another save coming out here for Misha on himself this time. Although he is silenced up, but they're finding this opening. Can they get the kill over onto Misha? Insania sitting very, very low. They'll kill Insania first. Misha next to follow, but Sai taking a lot of damage. There's gonna be buybacks coming out from both of these support heroes. Yoragi hiding in the meld, waiting patiently. Boxy rejoining here with this relocate. Wants to try to help out. Matu sitting a little bit low. They'll be able to go and pop Matu as they'll turn right back around again. This score is looking very sick, but Misha comes back in with the save. Can they keep Yoragi alive is the question. He's gonna make it out. They're gonna high five all the way through. They kill Boxy. They team wipe Liquid and they get the Roche. All there for is nothing worse than initiating when you know they don't see you and then getting stunned by some AoE. <laughs> that happens to me all the time. As Kuro, he's gonna likely drop to the Soul Burn here, but the Torrent? All right, BZM is basically out of mana. Spirit Vessel is there as well, but there's the save. Nicely done from Misha. Will likely cost him his life, but a second death for Storm would have hurt a lot here. They might want to fight this. Yeah, they're actually coming in. Tiger's in the vicinity. Storm comes in as well. GH, not going to be able to be revealed here. But ILTW was not expecting this transition over. So that's going to be an easy kill going the way of OG. Make it two. And Miracle forced to use Stone Gaze to retreat. But they're just going to reinitiate in. BZM with very little mana. But Yoragi is here with that newly picked up Desolator. Amar jumps in as well with the Dragon Tail. Miracle still has a decent amount of mana. Now look at this damage being done to BZM. Nether Strike being faked out. Yoragi. Oh, it's going to be applied to BZM instead. Still being saved by Misha here as Mind Control continues to get right click into Oblivion. Yoragi gets credit for that kill. So Miracle at the very least lives, but they've lost base.